Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to go through the process of importing contacts into a specific list. Now note, we are already inside of a list that we just created. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Import Contacts. And that will bring us to three ways to import contacts. We can either use a CSV or Microsoft Excel file, or we can use an integrated service. So for example, if we were to click Integrated Service, You'll note that we can import our Google contacts. We can import from Eventbrite or any of the services that are mentioned here. So in this case, we might choose to import from Eventbrite. We'll then need to authorize the connection to Eventbrite. Eventbrite will then ask for permission. We will give it. Now in this case, we don't have existing subscribers or contacts in Eventbrite. Had we had them, we would be able to import them from this page. If we were to use Google Contacts, we'd again authorize the connection. And then you'll determine what part of the contact that you want to import. Perhaps you'll want to have the first name and last name, and then that'll be it. If you want to import more information, you can click this link. You'll then give MailChimp the permission to upgrade your account if the number of contacts takes you over the free plan. And then you'll click Next. You'll then want to match up the columns. For example, you'll notice here that we have two unnamed columns. What we'll do is we'll edit them. We'll make them first name and last name, and then we'll click Save. Once we do that, we'll then click Next. You'll then determine how you want the contacts to be handled, subscribed, unsubscribed, or cleaned, and then you'll click Import. And you'll then have contacts inside of your list. Once we have that list, we can then go back to Add Contacts and click Import Contacts. That brings us back to this screen where we can go through this process again, again with either CSV files, Excel files, or integrated services. And once we choose either CSV or XLS, we can then click Next. Now you'll note that MailChimp will remove any duplicate addresses. They do not send confirmation emails to imported addresses, and they are trusting that you've gathered proper permission to send to every email on your list. So you will want to make sure that that is the case. Once you do that, you'll then click Browse, and you'll then click Next. Again, you'll take out all of the columns except for those that indicate email address, first name, and last name. But once you click Next, you'll then be at a screen that will tell you you are ready to import. What you'll do is you'll determine how you want those contacts to be placed inside of your list. You can choose to auto-update your list, and this will mean that if you have individuals that are already there, it will not include them, as well as to update any contact information. Once you are ready, you can then click Import. And you have now imported individuals into your MailChimp list. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.